We are now about seven, eight kilometers away from Alvdal, and you know what? What happens in Alvdal stays in Alvdal. So <laughs> I was, as usual, stretching my limits. I'm going to show you now what happens. I'm pulling a trailer, as you can see, and that means the, the consumption is higher. Now, the car stopped at 14 kilometers left. So um, that is actually very unexpected. The other day I was um, kind of close. I had 15 kilometers left and 100 kilowatt uh, limit. Now it stopped at 14 kilometers left. <laughs> so um, what's happening? Uh, this car, well, it's done 107,000 kilometers, which is in miles. It's like uh, let me let me actually switch here. Uh, language and units miles. Okay, 66,000 something uh, uh, miles. And the car freaking stopped at what? 14 kilometers left. Ugh. So I'm gonna show you now consumption. I was trying to save energy towards the end, but we had uphill and kind of high output. So, ooh, let me see. Uh, I'm gonna switch here to trips. So see consumption over the last 90,000 something kilometers has been very high because of trailer use and that means the, the degradation is higher but why is this happening? It could be unbalanced battery so um, yeah I had to try to get the heck out of here somehow so let me try to uh, make some phone calls and see what I can do all right this is interesting because suddenly it shows zero kilometers left uh i mean it was 14 and then it dropped down to 30. okay by the way uh, i have some birds yeah i told myself i never transport bird but these are just small birds yeah so excuse me for that but anyway suddenly we have zero kilometers left so i this leads me to believe that the battery pack was not balanced recently i might have uh, you know I stay away from the, the extremes, low and high, uh, so the battery pack is most likely unbalanced. Um, so it was actually down to zero, but what was kind of weird was that before the car shut down, uh, I didn't film it, but I can explain what happened. Um, well, let me just go out, it's just noisy with the bird. What happened before the car shut down was that uh, it, um, it still had about 100 kilowatt limit, uh, power limit. And I was going this slow uphill here, and one thing, like one indication, I I received that this was really before the end, you know, was that the cruise control was set to 75 kilometers per hour, uh, but for some reason the car slowed down under the set cruise control, uh, even though the, the power output was way below 100 kilowatt, it was like 20 kilowatt or something. Uh, so it seems like the car didn't really know where the bottom was, but then suddenly the BMS sensed that the voltage was too low, so it cut down the power, and then I'm stranded here. So this is uh, interesting, a uh, very valuable uh, experience. Uh, by the way, I'm still stranded here, so I disconnected my trailer, and um, yes, on hindsight, I might have, I should have disconnected earlier or topped up. Actually, there was a fast charger nearby, but you know me, I will always try to explore the limits and show you guys what happened when you mess up. Yeah, but anyway, um, I called Tesla. They couldn't, they couldn't do anything, and they said, well, they can, they can tow me. They can bring a tow truck or something uh, in the within the 100,000 kilometer warranty, <laughs> which I don't have anymore. So uh, what I'm gonna do is just ask someone to tow me uh, five, six kilometers, so that would be fine. And then, see, this is, okay, okay. So this is the problem. Like, this is why I always tell you guys, never go below zero kilometers. Just listen to Uncle Bjorn, because, oh, what the heck? There are some berries here. Ooh. But, this is what I say, no, never go below zero kilometers. I mean, it will work, of course, if your car is brand new. If your battery pack is still kind of new, but as the battery pack ages, I believe that there is some hidden degradation in that like below zero buffer. So it gets eaten up like my car or something, and then you suddenly have less, or you can get stranded like this. 
Um, so never ever go below zero. Always count something over zero. I was actually counting on reaching the supercharger with about five, three to five kilometers left, but <laughs> it never happened. <laughs> um, yeah. So um, anyway, fortunately in Norway we have lots of people. I mean, lots of cars with with um, a tow bar. About 50%, at least 50% of the cars have a tow bar. Let's see, those are some, um, some tourists. There's one who well, didn't have a tow bar. So um, I have to ask some people if they can tow me because that's the fastest way to do it, to get a tow. Yeah, uh, wait for Tesla is worth of time. They will be here in like one hour or something, or I don't know. So let's just ask someone. Yeah, but I have to put on my high visibility jacket, otherwise people are not going to stop for me. Alright, so in order to attach the tow hook, well first you have to get it out. It is in here, which is, should be in the front somewhere. And this is the tow hook, and you have to attach it here in the front here. So, um, there is this little cover that you have to remove. Uh, just use a key and then you can pop it open. Uh, let me show you. It's kind of clumsy. Let me try pry with the other hand. All right, I think I got it now. So, yeah, there, there, it pops open. Uh, kind of hard to see because it's kind of bright outside. But there's a place where you can put the tow hook in there. Oh, uh -huh. let's see. There, there. Okay, okay. Well, let me just do this uh, with two hands. Okay, you just have to find the hole and screw it. Uh, yeah, but anyway, you have to screw it this direction to put it in deep enough. Yeah, just keep on screwing it until it stops. I think. Um, I think we're going somewhere, right? Is it going in? Is it going in? Is it gonna hit the bottom? Something? Huh? Uh, I don't know. I think. Can go quite some. Uh, how, how deep is it gonna be? Shit, man! What am I doing? I've done this before. Okay, okay. Now, now it's attached. So now I just have to find someone to <laughs> tow me. All right. So um, the trailer is parked over here, and uh, I was so lucky that one of my followers, he lives nearby here in Arnold, <laughs> and uh, he's gonna give me a tow. This is the fastest way, wait for Tesla, it takes too long, and you cannot revive the car once he, it has died. But anyway, he's like a follower, so he knew me, and uh, well, I'm gonna be saved by a Volkswagen transporter. So I'm gonna show you now what you have to do when this happens, is that, um, well, you I mean, according to the regulations, you, sh you shouldn't use the hazard light, but I will use it anyway. So what you can do now is press the brakes, uh, there, there, okay, so now the car is in park, wait, I have to press the brake and then use tow mode on, like this, all right, okay, no, I cried, then I release, the, yeah, I release, release the brakes, and the car is in neutral, so he can pull me, I think, yeah, no, can you add a new mode stand, or? Yeah. Hörde var rart, hörde uh, something wrong here. Uh, tow mode is off. Tow mode is on. Okay, let me... What? What the heck? That is weird. I need towing. We have a problem. Tow mode will not engage. Whoa! That is... What the heck? So, we have to set the park, car in park. And then, every time I try to enter tow mode, it goes off. Ooh, we have a problem. Hang on, hang on. Okay, uh, for some reason I cannot put the car, I cannot put the tow mode on. Uh, it worked before, so what I do now is I reset, I shut down the car and I have to wait one minute. Uh, and then I will press the brakes and see if that will help. Calling the Tesla would probably not help. I asked them and they said, well, you know, they, yeah, they're not, they cannot help me. Once the car is down, then it's down. So I'm just gonna wait one minute then try to press the brake pedal and then see if we can set the car in tow mode because that's the only thing I need now. I have the car that can tow me, just need to put the car in neutral. Not right now, it's like, 
the bre the the park locks I mean the park braking is on so uh, the only way to get it transported is to have a tow like a flatbed okay let me try to press the brake pedal oh you know what it's dead the strap is dead wait okay it came on I had to open the door all right let's see let's try again now it seems like the brake pedal ooh. Car is in park. Okay, good. Well, is it in park really? No, it's not. Put the car in park. It says car off. I tried to use this park button here. And if I press the brake pedal, the tow mode will be possible to press, but then nothing happens. All right, all right you know what? I will just let him uh, go and I will have to find another solution. Okay, that's it. The 12 volt battery was low and now the car shut completely down to conserve the 12 volt battery. So uh, we have no information on what's going on now. Um, I'm waiting for a tow truck. Yeah, it's gonna be here, I don't know, within an hour or so. Uh, what the heck? Optimus Prime is the Terminator because it was down for a while and then suddenly it just came alive. Uh, I don't know what the heck happened, but it's still at zero kilometers, of course. Um, I just wonder now if I can set the car in uh, tow mode or not. Let's just try, push the brakes, well actually, yeah, push the brake, set it in tow mode. Now, you see, it goes on. And then it goes back. Yeah, it it, it seems like oh, there's 12 volt power low, so it doesn't have enough uh, power, I guess, to disengage the park brakes or something. So yeah, so you know what? just I'm gonna save the the energy. So I'm just gonna power off the car. Yeah, and wait for the tow truck. If it should be here in like I don't know, half an hour, 15 more minutes. Right, there is help. <laughs> we have to call in the big gun because, um, yeah, I'm not sure how he's gonna do this, but uh, he probably knows yeah, how to fix it. We'll just back in there and then pull in uh, Optimus Prime. I don't even think you need the front if you just hook it on the, on the tow bar or something. But I have to get the trailer afterwards. Ooh, maybe I have to move the trailer. Yeah. Alright, so the first thing we're gonna do now is try to uh, charge up the 12 volt battery. So he has this booster thingy. Uh, now the, the 12 volt uh, plug in the Model X is at a different spot as the Model S. So you have to put the 12 volt there and then... Uh, well, it says it here. Uh, jump start location. So put the 12 volt and then the plus there and then the minus on anywhere on the chassis I guess um, because we, we have to why well, we should try to get the car in neutral or in, in you know in the free rolling position um, and now the uh, last solution would be to get the, just pull it up on the flatbed and then put it right next to the supercharger and plug it in and hopefully everything will just sort out the car will start charging the main battery and then the main battery will start charging the 12 volt battery and everything will be okay. But we're just gonna try this now and see if it works. Uh, but we still have to get it going up there. So the booster has been uh, attached and it's, it's probably doing something. I don't know, uh, let's see. Well, he, he put it there on the chassis. Uh, so the booster is on, but it doesn't help and it, it kind of makes sense because it didn't help earlier either with the when I had the transporter here because I'm gonna show you now I try again it still there's 12 power low for some reason so if I try to press the brake and then try tow mode just hold the brake it will just go back it will it will not stay on and I cannot hear the the, the sound when you no know, there's, there's supposed to be this sound when the park brake disengages. So we just have to pull it the hard way up on the flat bed. Oh, well, maybe just have this one on. Um, but uh, this one will react. 
so the charge port will open we still have some 12 volt power uh, so the only solution now is to get <laughs> to force the car onto the supercharger and then plug it in and everything should be okay okay so we managed to get the car on the ramp it was actually pretty hard because well one thing is that Optimus Prime is so freaking heavy and it's kind of you know a little bit off but that's fine he's gonna he's gonna take it easy this is the best we can do <laughs> it looks kind of scary but uh, uh, yeah the, the back wheels are locked uh, so the, the, the only solution now is we have to get to the supercharger plug it in uh, because even now when he releases the winch the back wheel is still there so the car won't slide off the ramp anymore it's like this is it you know it's up the ramp and then uh, so the only way to, to fix this is to plug it in to get it charged so we can we can set the car in, in gear or neutral or whatever and then we're good yeah so this is freaking complicated this is why i always recommend people to not run out of juice and not don't go past zero but in this case 14 kilometers uh, all right Right, we are now in Alvdal. <laughs> a little bit unusual to see it like this, but uh, now we're just going to try to plug it in. Whoa, hang on. Uh, there, okay, well, so the charge port is open and then we just plug it in. It's got to be good, Sona. Okay, it's blue, it's green. Green means okay, it's charging. Uh, it's kind of hard for me to see the charging screen from here but uh, it is charging <laughs> so um, you know what I can I can look at the app uh, I can see on the app whether it is it's like charging or not okay, trying to get contact with the car it hasn't been well, I didn't open this since um, It is charging, uh, so maybe I'll just, I'm just gonna climb up on the car and take a look. Right, so this is uh, what I have seen before. The car is at zero kilometers, it is charging. Uh, we still haven't, we haven't added anything yet. Uh, and it's just, it is at zero. So uh, I think I'm gonna do some balancing tonight, balance the battery. Um, yeah, so we should wait at least give it a little boost here for at least 10 minutes to juice up and then I have to do some paperwork uh, because uh, this uh, transportation is not free yeah so um, anyway uh, yeah let's let's wait hmm actually when will it act when will it go up here it still hasn't increased yet it's at zero but it's receiving 60 kilowatt so um, hmm Right, this is probably the most epic charging uh, position ever. <laughs> so, um, actually, the, the insurance covers most of it. It was supposed to be 3,000 MUK, uh, but I only have to pay 500 MUK, which is about 50 something euros or dollars. Uh, so, the car responds now in the app. I see that it has 15 kilometers. Uh, so, the main battery is charging the, the 12 volt battery. And um, we are gaining range. Yeah. Uh, so I'm just gonna wait a bit, and then we can probably just, and then we can unload. I mean, then the car can drive off the ramp or by its own. Yeah. So um, well, let's, let's, we just have to do this. Let me see. Just have to open the uh, open the doors. All right, all right. Just have to do this. Yeah, it's priceless. Okay, the other door also. Actually, it detects an obstacle here for some reason. The other door, so it won't open. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. It's actually close it. Yeah. <laughs> but you know what? Um, I think that's it. You don't have to look. I mean, you you probably know what's going to happen. The rest, I will have to jar, charge up and then get the car off the flatbed, charge up, go back for the trailer, and come back here again and charge. The remaining so um since this started happening it's been three hours 
I spent about one hour fiddling around trying to get to tow it myself and then it didn't work and then I had to wait for this one. So it took me three hours and if I stopped for just two minutes to charge right before that at the fast charger, then this wouldn't have happened. So this is a warning for you guys. If you are running close, stop and charge. It might take you 10 minutes, five minutes, but you can save three hours in worst case. Yeah, so that's it then for now. So talk to you guys later.